Today you're going to be learning the basics of speedrunning Mega Man 1 with only the Mega Buster. I'll focus on making this as concise as possible and only covering beginner strategies, something everyone can do. So let's get started. Overall, Iceman has the most difficult stage. You'll want to prioritize your practice here. At the beginning of the stage, give these funky green dudes some headshots. If you kill them normally, they'll waste a lot of your time spinning around and running into you. Skipping ahead a bit are the disappearing block sections. They aren't as hard as they look, just practice the rhythm and the positioning of your jumps. Shortly after that is the most RNG heavy section of Iceman's stage. The platforms move randomly, oftentimes not cooperating with you, and you can also fall right through them. You can minimize your chances of falling through them by doing the pause glitch. You just do that by hitting select to pause and then select again to unpause. It flattens out Mega Man's body, preventing him from falling through it. You'll see me do it a lot here. Other than that, just be patient with your jumps, shoot the penguins or dodge them. And finally, skipping ahead a little bit, is the Iceman fight itself. It's a scripted fight. He'll start by jumping in the air and firing three ice shards from the top to the bottom. And then he'll follow it up by jumping straight up again and following the three ice shards from the bottom to the top. On the first set of shards, I like to jump the middle one. And then on the second set, I like to jump the bottom one. But in the end, use whatever works best for you. This is all a matter of getting the rhythm down and jumping precisely to dodge them. That's all I'm going to cover for Iceman, so moving on to Electric Man. This one, the stage itself is not bad at all. The boss fight, though, can be difficult. First, a general tip. If there's a ladder, always try to jump up or jump down it. It's a lot quicker than the climbing animation. In some sections when you're climbing up, there'll be these green drones firing at you. All you need to do is, as you're climbing, just fire some shots ahead of time. Shortly after you blast away those green dudes, there'll be another disappearing block section. For beginners, I recommend taking the right path. It's much easier just to walk across these blocks and then making the jump. There's two other forking sections in the stage. I recommend taking the right ladder and then in the next time, on the left ladder. And zipping ahead here, let's get to the Electric Man fight itself. Doing this normally with the Mega Buster only is extremely inefficient and inconsistent. But he has a simple pattern that you can get him into and abuse. It requires keeping a perfect rhythm. As he approaches you, when he puts his hands up in the air, this is where you want to fire. I recommend firing and jumping at the same time. This is so if you're slightly off rhythm, at least you'll jump over his electric beam. Hands go up, jump and fire. Hands go up, jump and fire. Repeat. Moving on to Gutsman stage. This is one where you're going to abuse the hell out of the pause glitch, like you'll see me do against these miners throwing axes. The stage is pretty straightforward, so moving on to the boss fight. Against Gutsman, I recommend the basics of using the pause glitch to maximize your damage. You'll see me unload a flurry of shots and rapidly pause to get the most damage there. And then mastering the rhythm of, as he's about to land, jump in the air and fire, and then on the way back down, fire again. That's it for Gutsman, moving on to Cutman. His stage is pretty straightforward. There's some sections where you want to abuse the pause glitch, like you're going to take some bonks and just do some precise jumping here, but that's it really. And on to the boss fight. When you start the fight, just walk straight down and start firing at him. He's going to throw his cutter out at you, just jump over the cutter and start walking towards him. He's going to jump over you, just turn around and fire and keep doing that until he's dead. Moving on to Fireman stage. This is also a pretty straightforward stage. Make ample use of the pause glitch to handle knockbacks and recover quickly. And then later on, there's a section with these little spiky dudes on the ground, and you can despawn them just by walking them off the screen. On to the fight with Fireman itself. This is another one where casually doing this would be incredibly difficult, but you can just abuse the hell out of the pause glitch, just rapidly fire, and rapidly pause and unpause. That's it. Super easy. And finally, the last stage to cover, Bomb Man. When you run into this green Cyclops dude with the shield, you can force him to put his guard down by jumping over him. This will cause him to jump around a bit, and just keep unloading on him while his guard is down. The only other noteworthy section here is this little floating drone that does a spread shot. You can take some bonks and make use of the pause glitch to recover quickly, or you can do a small jump to dodge the little spread shot. Finally, the Bomb Man fight itself. He does a pretty basic pattern of jumping on your far right and your far left while throwing bombs occasionally. Just jump the bombs as needed, fire at him, turn around, fire at him, that's it. Easy. Again, this video is only meant to cover the basic strategies to quickly defeating all the robot masters just with the Mega Buster. If you want to see more advanced and optimal strategies, check out the top speedruns for this game on the Mega Man leaderboard. I'll put a link to it below. I hope you found this helpful. If you try this out, let me know how it went.